we are not doing well as a country in terms of um, the savings culture currently. One of the greatest lessons of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic was the importance of savings. Somewhere in a circle or in a fund such as the National Social Security Fund, we are not doing well as a country in terms of um, the savings culture currently. The savings rate in Kenya at the moment is around 13%. This is below the Africa's average of around 17%. And we are way behind our brothers and sisters in Tanzania and Uganda because both Tanzania and Uganda have gone beyond 20%. So in as much as we pride ourselves as a country that is economically vibrant in the East African region, when it comes to the savings culture, we are the worst. We are at the pathetic point, if I dare say. And so every time the subject of people saving comes up, people ask, where is the money? We want to save, but we do not have the money to save. But what people don't seem to ask is, what will happen to me tomorrow if I do not save today? One of the greatest lessons of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic was the importance of savings. How long will your savings take you if there was another pandemic? If you lost your job today, how long will you survive on your, on your savings? Uh, will you pack everything and maybe go back to the village? Or how long will you be able to pay rent if your source of income abruptly came to, to an end? That's why we need to have a very sober discussion when it comes to the savings in Kenya. And we have various channels that Kenyans can save. You know, when we talk about savings, many people think of a savings bank account where they take their money to the bank for the bank to sit there. For me, I believe that a better saving is not through a bank account. Because you'll put there your money and after uh, 12 months, there's just a slight increase on your savings. But what if you take a slight amount of money on a monthly basis and putting it somewhere in a circle or in a fund such as the National Social Security Fund? For me, I believe that the two major avenues in Kenya right now that can shift our savings culture and maybe place us on the global map is for Kenyans to utilize SACOs and NSSF. NSSF is the best platform where someone can save for retirement. If you want to save for retirement or for that time when you'll no longer be working, then NSSF is the avenue that you need to put your money in. And given that after the ruling with the enhanced rates, it is now easier for you to save more with NSSF so that when it comes a time for you to retire, you have more in your savings account for you to enjoy. You know, many people behave as if retirement is an accident, like something that just got them off guard. We have to prepare for our retirement in each passing day. Every day you wake up to go to work, you are moving closer to your retirement. And you really have to start saving towards that. And these guys at the NSSF have um, some very interesting products that I've seen that caters for both the employed and those who are in the informal sector. For the informal sector, I'll tell someone to take up their Haba, Haba na NSSF product where someone can save as little as 25 shillings a day for retirement. So I think what we need to change is our attitude towards our savings and towards our preparation for the future because retirement is as inevitable as death. It is coming. Another avenue is circles. Circles have become a very important financial vehicles in Kenya where someone can save as little as 100 or 1,000 shillings a month, then be able to access loans, be able to get dividends at the end of... Uh, of every financial year. So for me, those two avenues, if we can utilize them as a country, both NSSF and the circles. So you can have two of them. You save for a circle where you can access the funds in case of an emergency, in case you need a loan, in case you need other things for, for, uh, for the expenses, and save with NSSF for retirement. Because with NSSF, actually, your money is secure.
your money is insured and you will always get your money no matter what. So uh, for me, what I think the problem that we have is not a savings problem, but it is an attitude problem. People have money, but we need to change our attitude. We do not have time on this earth. We do not have time before retirement. It is coming. As, much as, as long as you hit 20 years, 25 years in your working experience, you are retiring. There's no lie about that. You are going home. And it is very sad that when you retire, then you start blaming your kids that they're not helping you. You become a burden. You, become, you start surviving on medicines and you have no money to buy that medicine. So we really need to be serious and start saving now for our future. Thank you.